Hi, this is Amelia from Moreware. Welcome to Waterfall and Multiple Edges. Log into your CounterGo database. Make a new quote so you'll have a copy of what we do in your database. Creating waterfall edges has four parts. Draw the pieces, indicate which edges will be mitered, add a second edge finish, then apply the finish to the countertop pieces. In step one, draw the countertop and also the apron pieces that will form the waterfall to the floor. Use this same process even if your pieces won't go all the way to the floor. I'm going to add text to indicate what these pieces are. With all the counter pieces drawn, it's time to indicate which of these edges will have a different edge finish. Go to step three. In this step, we are not indicating which finish is going to be applied, only that it is not the same on all sides. This edge will touch the floor so it can be unfinished. This edge will meet up with the top counter, so I'll choose additional finished edge. I'll do the same on the main counter. Finished edge two is an option since I have already applied it on one side of the piece. I'll indicate what will be the mitered edge on this last piece. You may be wondering why finished edge two does not appear in this pop-up. An additional finished edge has not been applied to this piece, so it doesn't show yet. I'm ready to assign the edge types. Step five is where you tell CounterGo exactly which edge finishes will be on each counter. We are going to add the additional finish type and assign the finishes to the edge of our countertop pieces here. I'll select a product, color, and one of my edges. Next, I'll click on the add icon next to the edge to add an additional finish type. Notice that edge one says it's being used on three counters. But edge 2, even though we've selected miter, says unused. It's time to tell CounterGo which finishes belong on which edges. You can work with the thumbnail image as is, or click the four-sided arrow to make it larger. Starting with this piece on the left, I'll click on the edge that will be mitered. It shows as F2 in the drawing, and assign miter to be used on this piece anywhere there's an F2. Even though we assigned F2 on the previous piece, every counter can have a different finish, so we need to repeat the steps on every piece. Here, on the center piece, two edges are marked as F2. Once we assign the first F2, we don't need to assign the other since they are on the same countertop piece. We'll assign the miter on this last edge, then we're all done. Now CounterGo knows the finished edge miter is used on three counters. In step six, there are now line items with measurements for both edge finishes. Use the same basic steps if you have a countertop that needs different finished edges that are not a waterfall. The main difference is that you do not need to draw the apron pieces. Don't forget, there are a lot of places to find help as you are working, including when you are in the drawing steps. From the top menu bar, click on the help icon, then search help, to open our online help center in a new window. That covers how to create quotes with waterfall edges or countertops with multiple edge finishes. The next video, Segmented Edges and Splashes, will go through how to create quotes with splashes of different heights along the same edge. If you have questions or would like to set up a quick call with one of our friendly CounterGo experts, email support at moreware.com. Happy quoting!